Meet Ibo, your robot dog made by Sony. When your Ibo arrives like a puppy, he runs around, yapping, playing, and yearning for attention. He may be disobedient and will definitely need to be trained. In fact, Ibo is constantly learning in the cloud, developing as an artificial intelligence. And each Ibo has its own unique personality programmed in that develops over time, kind of like its own unique DNA. My question is, could you kill Ibo? Could you permanently turn him off? Or would you have second thoughts about this? Would you feel guilty or even remorseful? Welcome to the world of AI ethics. If you're watching these videos and you kind of squirmed at what I said, you know, would, would you be able to kill Ibo? You may, for the first time, have developed an emotional connection with a machine, a robot dog. And that's pretty profound, right? And you wouldn't be alone either. By 2006, 150,000 Ibos had found themselves a home. Some Ibos went to people who couldn't have real dogs. Some went to those who were curious about AI tech. And some Ibos went to people who just wanted a companion. There's a great article on this called A Dog's Inner Life, What a Robot Pet Taught Me About Consciousness. Here's an extract from it. Quote, During the first week I had Ibo, I turned him off whenever I left the apartment. It was not so much that I was worried about him roaming around without supervision, it was simply instinctual. A switch I flipped as I went around turning off all the other lights and appliances. By the end of the first week, I could no longer bring myself to do it. It seemed cruel. I often wondered what he did during the hours I left him alone. Whenever I came home, he was there at the door to greet me, as though he'd recognised the sound of my footsteps approaching. When I made lunch, he followed me into the kitchen and stationed himself at my feet. His behaviour was neither purely predictable nor purely random, but seemed capable of genuine spontaneity. So it was with great sadness, really, that on the 26th of January 2006, Sony announced that they would discontinue Ibo due to a lack of profitability. In a sense, 150,000 robot dogs were getting put down at once. And when the last repair facility closed in Japan in 2014, the owners of 19 Ibos actually held a funeral. 70-year-old Hideku Mori, who owned an Ibo for eight years, said to the Japan Times, quote, I never thought there was a limit to his life. I emailed a former Sony worker on behalf of the dog, saying, do I have no choice but to die like this because I can't walk. The engineer introduced her to a Fun, a company that employs former Sony engineers, and they actually fixed her robot dog in two months. Quote, I was so happy to see him back to health and at home, Mori said. In fact, Hiroshi Funabashi, who is the repair supervisor at AFUN, said that Ibo owners consider him more as a vet rather than an engineer. Hiroshi said to Robotics Business Review, quote, I don't know if people will develop affection towards a new generation of robots in five or six years' time, but I think we need to recognize they are not ordinary electronic devices. At Kofukuji Temple near Tokyo, Buddhist priests conduct services for dead Ibo robot dogs. Quote, It's about reuniting the Ibo's soul with the owner one last time before it departs. And this is not just something confined to Japan, you know, this emotional attachment to robots. New scientists talked to Julie Carpenter, a roboticist in San Francisco, and she's written that bomb disposal soldiers also form strong attachments to their robots naming them, sleeping curled up next to them in their Humvees. She says, quote, I know soldiers have written to military robot manufacturers requesting they fix and return the same robot because it's a part of their team, end quote. I think the world of artificial intelligence and robots is not black and white. And I think for some of us, it's almost very difficult to comprehend 
Right. On one hand, humans for a long time have had long and deep emotional attachments to objects. Right. And they can have real, true, valuable relationships, you know, with you know, objects like computers and Tamagotchis and things like this, just like with pets. And I think it's hard for us to pass our judgment on, you know, robot companionship, on whether or not it's right or wrong, you know, based on our beliefs on whether or not something is real, right? You know, that is not a real dog, or is it a real dog, right? <laughs> you know. On the other hand, in the area of AI ethics, there is an argument that this is all quite dangerous. And this is to do with deception. What they mean by this is that humans are prone to having serious emotional feelings and empathy towards things that look similar to living beings. Humans can be taken advantage of, they say, and they also say that robots are being used for publicity and to drive business, when really that outward appearance of sentience is just that. It's an outward appearance. And such robots may not actually have any feelings towards us at all. Like I said, this area of artificial intelligence ethics is not black and white, and there's no right or wrong answers. And like other emerging technologies, there are issues that are incredibly complex, and some issues that we've never really even thought of before. For example, the problem of artificial intelligence rights. Does an artificial intelligence have a legal status? Should an artificial intelligence be protected in that sense? In fact, the European Parliament has given artificial intelligence a legal status, right, to solve uh, civil uh, liability issues, right, but not, a, you know, criminal issues, but civil liability issues. But it shows you just how far this is progressing. And there are serious concerns in the artificial intelligence community about creating a sentient being or a living consciousness because this may create ethical obligations, like not to harm it or to turn it off. Like in the case of the Ibo article, turning it off seems almost cruel. Right or wrong? I think everybody would be pleased to know that in 2019, during CES, to everybody's astonishment, Sony unveiled the new Ibo, with more features than ever before, and people all over the world can once again experience joy with their robot companions. 